We're here at CSC Ranches in Pilot Point, Texas, and we are a hot blistering deal again this time, and so we've got Porticool that has saved us again. We're almost into fall, but not yet. We're getting ready for the Virginia contest, who our judge and clinician will be Mr. Michael Kukinen from Denmark, and we've got a good set of shoes that we'll be bringing to you. In this video, we'll be making one of two shoes of the two-man that is sponsored by Scott Ambles, and they'll be in Virginia. It is made out of inch and a quarter by five sixteenths. It has two Mass Lake clips. They're quarter clips. It's punched for a E4 concave or hybrid. It's got seven nail holes. It's measured five and a half wide by six and a quarter long, and it's got a safe toe. This steel is five sixteenths by inch and a quarter, 11 and three quarter inches long. I marked it three sixteenths of an inch off center given me three-eighths of an inch more material on the lateral side. And uh, we're gonna bump it. That initial bump is gonna be about the width of this anvil right here. We're gonna go a third, a third, and a third so I can have material for my toe and my mass fillets. Got to heat up. We're just gonna put material in the toe and down the branch a little bit. So you can see we've got Right about here is where our mass lot's gonna end. So that's, we got some material there and we'll steal some out of the center for our toe. We'll crack the toe, which is gonna be a feet in itself and it's that wide. Come here and just stay right ahead of the horn. Just really trying to get that toe tight enough and get our toes safed up a little bit. I'm not going to commit to a fuller and just yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and mark where my mass fillet is going to go, right from the edge of that. You can see the beginning of the mass lot, and then I'll, I'll forge a heel on this side. Come out here on the bick. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark my, I've got this side pretty well stretched out. I'm gonna mark my fullerin, and I wanna make sure that I'm plenty coarse enough because I'm gonna run that outside edge and it, it always tends to be a little fine if you don't get that outside edge cleaned up. So I wanna make sure I got plenty of material to clean up after I fuller it. Just kind of 
getting it to go around. Not really committing too much. We'll be on to the other side. Just gonna put this mark here, kind of give me a, a reference. got my material drawn out a little bit. I'll take one more heat and keep drawing on it. Just gonna kind of come in here and rearrange my toe. Pulling that up and trying not to get on the anvil and clean this up and go on and down and make a heel. Stay at the base. You can see now I've cut my line in there. come in here and just take the, the back edge of my hammer and I'm just kind of getting that line. With the clip leaning back, it doesn't really matter if I hit the clip. It's not going to do that much damage. And then you come out and I push that line back out. Now I'm just going to re rebuild my shoe three heats. I'm going to rebuild my toe, my branch, 
and then I'll clean it up. He's coming through. Trying to make those that toe look like there's never been a, a clip forged out of it. Now I'll, I'll make this branch and the other branch and refuller it. Get my full and knocked in there. Clean up that inside edge. Now we're going to get a little heat on it and just clean up these edges where the, the, the clips are and just make the top lines pop a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of this material out in the center. Try to make it look like a plain, I mean a plain hind profile shoe with some big old clips on there. <laughs> <laughs> 